डॉक्टर सुनील फ्रॉम जे सी बोस टेक्निकल कैंपस को यूनिवर्सिटी दिस साइड टुडे आई विल टेक अप टू सेशन वन ऑन डॉक्यूमेंट ऑब्जेक्ट मॉडल एंड टाइप्स ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट ऑब्जेक्ट मॉडल नोट्स सो हेयर स्टूडेंट विल एबल टू लर्न द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट ऑब्जेक्ट मॉडल एंड इनिशियली you should be uh, learner should be aware of the basics of the html in previous lecture you must have been gone through the html basic of html now let's take what is javascript dom so javascript is a object based and the web browser is object is also object based means we can access the browser web browser object in same way we did in javascript so there are two object models one is browser object model other is document object model first of all we will take up browser object model this is the core of javascript on the web browser object model allows javascript to interact with the browser this model enables javascript to communicate with the web browser about the things other than the web page content object of the window represents browser window and the corresponding features default object of the browser is window we can also invoke the function of window by specifying window direct window or directly for example if we give window dot alert within bracket within parenthesis hello java javit point it is same as hello javit point so there are number of properties uh, which are defined under the window like document history screen etc navigator and this object model this document object model represents document object represents html document and it forms dom document object model this is the basis of dom document object model what is the need of dom whenever html file is loaded in the web browser javascript cannot understand html document directly so in this way the corresponding document is created and this corresponding document is called document object model dom basically it is the representation of the same html document but in different format as we know javascript code can be embedded in html document this document object model makes javascript so powerful we can access html elements tags and we can manipulate means we can add delete modify new html elements or tags depending on user events from the browser itself for javascript to access any document like html or xml document must be conformed to some special logical character and this dom document object model allows javascript to access and manipulate the element of a document so it allows javascript to access and add modify elements of document such as html or xml so if you look at this logical structure we have html document we have html document downside now dom structure here it arranges in a tree like structure like the root is html and ja body and head in h1 so this javascript can access this dom structure or it can access the html page through dom document object model so each element on the web each tag on the web page becomes an object the programming interface is the property and method of each objects so programming interface what is the programming interface programming interface basically there are the properties and the method of each object property what is property property is a value we can get or set like changing the content of html elements method is an action we can take like deleting or adding html content as the element content so web browser what it does it builds up a model of the web page like document which include object of the page 
objects means every elements tags text etc all the properties and methods and events available to the web web developer for manipulating and creating web pages yeah. are organized into objects also what are the property uh, methods events are they are being organized into the uh, uh, one hierarchical structure and they are organized into objects and these object are accessible through scripting languages like javascript in the modern web browser so whenever the web page is loaded into browser every element every tag on the page gets a reference and what it does javascript code use these references to change the elements to add modify elements tags on a web page so the model includes this document object model include not only the structure but also the behavior of a document means the events also so it is a root element which sits on the top of html documents with the help of document object we can add dynamic content to our web page like events behavior we can change the behavior also so for this uh, if we look at this dom diagram dom picture dom document is at the top of the family top of the structure and children are there and in the lower part we have different different children are there and they are intact in body and head so on so here document object model construct a tree like structure so browser create a model of html page browser what it does browser creates a model of the html document and javascript accesses updates html page or document so what is dom world wide consortium w3c is a body which is stand which is set standards for the web web it's a w3c task a standard object model known as w3c document object model for accessing html elements from a browser all the web browser follow dom document object model because of this javascript can work can access on all all browser in the same way if we have this example over here sample dom document and we will get a output like html document this is a document this is the how browser works it leaves all the tags and gives the output if we look at the a uh, tree a representation of html document we have document at the top then we have html head body then we have title and there on the children are there so dom represents html document as a tree structure and this structure model is used to describe tree like representation of a model and here objects elements which became objects are organized into hierarchy and this hierarchical structure applies to the organization object in a web document if we take the dom structure window document parent then we have so each node here these are called nodes they are treated as each node they are treated as object which can be accessed through traversing the nodes like hierarchy of objects if we want to access the image so we give document dot image if we want to access the text area we have to give document dot form dot text area this is the way how we access the dom elements now in this first session we have learned about what is the need of document object model or dom then thereafter we have gone through the what is a concept what is dom actually there is in the next session we will be going to take up the different document object model nodes 
थैंक यू